Greetings everyone, I'm Nick DiVirgilio, and today we're gonna to be asking the question, which DW pedal is right for you? DW makes a wide array of pedals to fit any budget and any playing style. And in this video, I want to take you through all of the pedals in the line and show you what they have to offer, hopefully giving you the info you need to get the exact pedal you've been looking for. Before I get started, let me give you a very brief history of DW. Don Lombardi started DW as a drum school in Santa Monica, California back in 1972, and his first product was a height adjustable trap seat. In 1977, DW purchased the tooling from Camco and reintroduced the 5000 pedal, but it was in 1980 when they started manufacturing the chain drive version of the 5000 that changed everything. It quickly became one of the most popular pedals around. In 1983, DW made their first double pedal version and things just exploded from there. They patented their Delta bearing hinge in 1995, taking the feel of their pedals to yet another level. In 2003, the 9000 series pedals came out, and in 2014, the machine direct drive pedals made their debut, and to this day, DW keeps on striving to make the best products possible. With all that said, let's go through some of the details. The 2000 series pedal. This is DW's entry line of pedals designed for students and anyone on a budget that just needs a good feeling, well working pedal. The pedal comes with a single chain and sprocket design. You adjust how you connect it to the bass drum hoop right here on the side with your drum key. This is called the bearing spring rocker assembly and it ensures a very smooth recovery after you strike the kick drum head. You can easily adjust the beater angle by loosening the nut on top of the spring right here. Get it where you like it, tighten it back up and you're good to go. There's adjustable spikes on the bottom of the plate so your kick drum pedal doesn't move and you get DW's flyweight beater which is a lightweight version of the 101 beater you'll see on other pedals. The next step up is the 3000 series of pedal. For a little bit more, you get some very nice features. On this pedal, you get a dual chain and a turbo sprocket. Nice speed from this pedal. With this pedal, when you attach it to your kick drum hoop, you tighten it with the wing nut on the side. You get the bearing rocker assembly on the side here. Easily adjust your spring tension, and you can adjust the beater angle with the nut on top of the spring right there. Get a sturdy steel base plate and the same adjustable spikes right here on the side. And this pedal steps up to the industry standard DW101 beater, felt on one side and plastic on the other. If you're starting to play a lot more and need something to keep up with a ton of practice and a lot of gigs, but still don't wanna break the budget, then the 3000 series is definitely something to check out. It's also worth mentioning that the 3000 series also comes in a double pedal version. The next pedal to mention is the 6000 series pedal. A while back, DW released their 6000 series hardware. Great flat-based hardware that's lightweight and perfect for a small setup. The 6000 series pedal fits that kind of setup perfectly. It has an old school rod base that connects to the two posts for easy setup and teardown. It comes in versions with the accelerator cam, the turbo cam, or even a strap drive to go even more old school. And it has the same delta bearing hinge as the 5000 series pedal. Next, let's get into the pedal that came out decades ago, but it's still one of the most used and most popular pedals of all time, the 5000 series. I have a few different versions of the pedals to take you through, but what I wanna do first is take you through all of the things that the pedals have in common. First thing is the tri-pivot toe clamp. There's three moving pieces on the clamp right here that connect to your kick drum hoop so it never moves, and you can move the pedal to the left or to the right depending on your hoop to get the pedal to sit right in the middle perfectly. Next is the dual bearing spring rocker. When I push the pedal down, you could see the spring and the whole assembly rocking back and forth making for a really smooth feel. You can take your included drum key and adjust the beater angle right there with the nut on top of the spring. You get a very cool looking red base plate, your adjustable spikes, and a very cool rubber bottom. And the last piece that's similar is DW's 101 two-way beater. Felt and plastic side, it's the same on all of the 5000 series pedals. Now for the few differences in the 5000 series pedals. We're gonna start with the cams, either the accelerator cam or the turbo cam. The accelerator cam gives you great speed and the turbo cam gives you nice, consistent feeling all the time. The next thing to talk about is the chains, either a single chain version with the accelerator cam or double chain versions with the accelerator or turbo cams. The single chain version was the first one that DW put out way back in the day and some drummers just love the way a single chain feels underneath their feet and that's why DW keeps making that version 
to this day. The last difference to mention in these 5000 series pedals, and one that I don't have with me here today, is the extended footboard version. Some drummers love to have a long footboard depending on what kind of music they're playing, and you can get that kind of footboard in the 5000 series. And if you're a double pedal player, you can get a double pedal version of any of the 5000 series. Now let's move up to the 9000 series, a pedal that's super fast and fluid and very easily adjustable. You can go from the accelerator cam or to the turbo cam or anywhere in between by adjusting it yourself. Just grab the drum key and there's a nut right here on the bottom. When you turn that nut, you'll see the cam extend out or go back in. So set it where you like the feeling and you're good to go. It's also worth mentioning that there's no sprocket underneath the chain, just a pad. And if you like playing with a strap instead of a chain, there's a strap inside the box with the pedal and you can easily change it out. The spring assembly called the floating swivel spring is on the inside of the post for the DW9000. You see it swivels back and forth. You can easily adjust the beater angle of the 9000 series pedal by taking the drum key, sticking it through the post, attaching it, loosening it up a good amount, getting the angle wherever you like it, tightening it back up. There you go. The 9000 series comes with the same tri-pivot toe clamp as the 5000 series. A beautiful rubber bottom so the pedal never slips from side to side. The delta bearing hinge. You can also get the 9000 series with an extended footboard and of course in a double pedal version. And one of the things that really takes this pedal up to the next level is the free floating rotor system that's right here next to the cam. And what that does along with the adjustable cam is make for a super smooth feeling pedal. And last but not least in the DW line of pedals are the amazing MDD and MCD pedals. MDD stands for Machine Direct Drive and MCD stands for Machine Chain Drive. The MDD is DW's first entry into direct drive pedals. And if you like that kind of feel, this is definitely one you should check out. Let me quickly talk about the difference between the feel of direct drive and chain drive. A lot of fast playing drummers, like guys that play speed metal, blast beat, anything like that, you need a real direct linkage between the foot plate and the beater, and it's a feel thing. Uh, you can get fast playing on chain drive pedals as well, but when you have direct drive, they've really taken the speed up to incredible levels. Some of these guys can play single strokes up to like 300 BPM, and that's all due to the direct drive linkage on these pedals. The two main differences on the pedals are the direct drive linkage on the MDD and the chain cam system on the MCD. There's a couple of easy ways to adjust the footboard height. One on top here, just below the beater. Like that. The other way to make the adjustment is at the front of the footboard. Get it where you like it and tighten it back down. Now I find this super cool, the way you adjust the chain system in the cam on the MCD. Right here on the side, pull it forward, it adjusts it out, push it back in, adjusts it back in just like that. You can also adjust the throw of the pedal by loosening the nut in the back here and adjusting the chain either forward or back. A super cool and very high-end way to adjust the spring tension on the MCD or the MDD is by taking your drum key, attaching it to the nut right here, and adjusting the tension just like that. They also put marks on the side of the post right here, so when you get the tension to where you like it, you'll always know and can get it back to that exact same spot. And it's just so much easier than grabbing the nut on the bottom of the spring, loosening it up, pulling the spring down, getting it to where you want it, tightening the nut back up. This way is just super easy. Another very high-end feature is the free-floating rotor, totally independent of the linkage on either the MCD or the MDD. Another very cool feature on DW's machine pedals are the beater and how easily adjustable they are. It comes right out of the box with the felt beater on it, but if you want to take this one off, just unscrew it like this. You get a nice little bag with two other beater heads on there. One is just plastic and one is kind of rounded. Twist it back on and there you go. A little bit different sound, a little more attack with the plastic, a little less attack with either of the felt designs. You can also easily adjust the weight of the beater head. It comes with four different weights like this. You could take them all out 
and get the weight to exactly where you want. You can play with none where it's super light or you can put all four in, which is actually where I like it, to get a nice heavy feel towards the kick drum head. Put them all back in, find the beater head you like, twist it on, and start playing drums. Now let's talk about these amazing footboards, perforated, solid aluminum that comes in four different colors. I have the polished version and the black version here with me today, but there's also a blue version and a gray version. You also get this sweet looking contoured heel plate and all of the pedals in the machine series come with the interlocking Delta hinge. I hope you enjoyed our walk down the DW pedal road today. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned pro, it'd be well worth your time to talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer for even more information on DW pedals so you can get the exact piece of gear you've been looking for. Take care. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one. Or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.